Howdy everyone, Chase here with Silencer Shop, and this is the Infinity 762 from Otter Creek Labs. This is a super exciting silencer, not only because it's exclusive to Silencer Shop, which it absolutely is, but because this is the first 3D printed silencer from OCL. You're probably familiar with some other silencers in the OCL lineup, like the Polonium, Hydrogen, Lithium, and Titanium. Of course, all of those are named after elements in the periodic table. And this one is called the Infinity, definitely a little bit of a step out of their traditional line. And that's because this can is very different than all of those. Besides just being 3D printed, all of those silencers are really tailored towards specific calibers. They're more caliber and cartridge specific. The Infinity, uh, due to its name, is supposed to work across kind of everything. It's supposed to be the do-all 30 caliber silencer. It's made to balance the performance of a 5.56 AR-15 or a 300 blackout bolt gun. These are very different, but the Infinity is made to optimize for all of them. Part of that is due to the baffle structure and the gas management that happens inside of the silencer. Another part is due to the end caps. These are interchangeable, and there's a few available. It comes with three. You can see the vented 762 end cap here. It's gonna be great for something like an AR-10 or an AK that's very gas dependent or they have a solid end cap. So it's gonna be a little bit more restrictive, trap a little bit more of that gas and probably give you better sound performance on certain rifles, like on a 300 blackout bolt gun, where you don't need the gas management, but trapping more gas would actually give you better sound and flash performance. They also have 5.56 end caps. It comes with a solid one. So that's gonna be awesome for on your AR-15s. It's gonna trap a whole bunch of gas, be super duper sound efficient and uh, trap that gas a little bit better. It's just gonna screw out righty tighty lefty loosey, just like most common threads. You can kind of see inside the silencer there, that baffle structure. And then you have a taper on the outside of the end cap, as well as this thread on the inside. These perforations are what's gonna allow the can to vent really well. Then that's gonna continue either through the end cap or bounce up against that if it's a solid one. You can take your caliber specific one, screw that right on. Seats against that taper, you can take your wrench just to make sure you get it nice and tight. And those gas end caps actually work really well. We had a AR-10 that's set up to run with 30 caliber suppressors with the vented end cap. We just couldn't quite get it to cycle without opening up the gas a little bit more. We tossed on the solid end cap for a little bit more restriction and it ran how we would expect a 30 caliber can to run on that gun. So it does actually do quite a bit for venting that gas and allowing you to tune the silencer to your gun, which is gonna give you better performance, better flash reduction, all the kind of things that you want from a silencer. Now you have a little bit more adjustment. And on the rear end, this is gonna be hub threaded. One thing to note about the OCL Infinity is it does not come with a mount in the box. And that's because most people swap out that direct thread mount for some kind of QD. So by giving you just the hub mount, they're giving you all of the versatility that you could want but they're not adding any additional cost to give you a mount in the box. It's gonna have a little bit wider diameter, 1.75 inches versus 1.5 inches that we see from a lot of rifle cans. You also have this knurling that's a little bit new for OCL, but it gives you a really good grip onto the silencer. And you can use these little teeth at the back to mount a spanner wrench so you can tighten that can on or off. To go further on that sort of do all 30 caliber silencer that the Infinity is designed to be, there are no barrel length restrictions. There are no caliber ratings. Any 30 caliber, any barrel length, you can shoot through your Infinity and not have to worry. So if you're shooting a super short 5.56 or a really short AR-10 and 308 or 7.62 by 39, any of those kind of calibers, even up to magnums like your 300 Win Mag or 300 Rum, the Infinity can do it. It will be fine. You don't have to worry. This thing is solid one piece of Inconel and then your 17.4 stainless steel end caps. This thing is made to handle a bunch of abuse. It is a super hard use silencer and you can use it on basically any 30 caliber or lower in your collection. That 17.4 stainless steel and Inconel construction does make this thing pretty hefty. It is built to last. And I actually found that that weight was really great at helping with recoil reduction as well as the baffle structure in here. It really promotes the gun just not moving. We shot it on everything from ARs to bolt actions. And one thing that kind of everyone that shot the can took away from it was the gun just doesn't move. That's partially due to the weight of the silencer up front, keeping that muzzle from moving too much. But it also has to do with the end cap design and the baffle structure in here, just really aiding in that recoil reduction. 
That was something that I wasn't expecting from the Infinity, but was pre pleasantly surprised about. Sounds awesome, the gas management is awesome, and I was very, very blown away by the recoil reduction. The Infinity is available in my favorite, the FDE or Cerakoted Black. They'll come with different end caps as well. They both come with the same vented 762, solid 762, and solid 556. But the FDE model will have these heat treated 174 stainless steel. And on the black version, you'll have all those same end caps, but it is Cerakoted Black to match the silencer. In addition to those end caps, you're getting a couple more things in the box a wrench to help you get those end caps on and off, as well as a tube clamp so you can slide this over your infinity and put it in a vise to get those mounts or end caps really tight and not have to worry about damaging the tube of the silencer. Just chuck this up in a vise, tighten on your mount, and you'll be good to go. The Otter Creek Labs Infinity is six and a half inches long, weighs in at 20 ounces, and has a diameter of 1.75 inches. They really knocked it out of the ballpark with this one. I've been blown away by its performance across a ton of different rifles, and I think you will too. If you have any questions about the Infinity, of course, go ahead and leave a comment below. If you want to pick up an OCL Infinity of your own, they are available only at silencer shops. So stop on by and we can get you hooked up with either FDE or Black. They're both ready to go. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and subscribe to our newsletter. That's where you're going to get notified about any upcoming silencers as well as deals and info about the industry. Thank you guys all so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.